hello everyone and welcome back to my page this is your girl chocolate swag and you are tuning in today for your midweek motivation and today i just really want to focus in on your thoughts your train of thoughts how you think and your power this is something that i personally really need so i wanted to bring this video to you all because i need it mainly i need it for me and secondly, I felt like if this could help me at the stage in my life where I'm at, then maybe there's someone else out there who's, you know, in a similar stage and needs to hear this message. I am struggling with giving away my power. I'm struggling with what I choose to um, focus my energy on and what I choose to think about or um just you know my thoughts the things that i think about the things that bother me they shouldn't bother me that much or they shouldn't hold that much power because i shouldn't be thinking about them a lot the only keeper of your happiness is you um we have to stop giving people power to control our smile number one to control our worth and to control our attitude we have to stop giving people that power we can't let people know that their actions or their words affect us or they bother us we just have to keep our heads up we have to keep a smile on our face and we have to keep going um keep your poker face on don't ever let anyone see you sweat because it all begins and ends in your mind it's what you give power to has power over you if you allow it to. And that's a really profound statement. And I think that's something that I need to just constantly remind myself right now. I have to remind myself that whatever I give power to is having the control and the power over me. And I shouldn't be in a power struggle with my thoughts. You know, I shouldn't have that issue. You are in charge of how you react to people. You're in control of your reactions to the things that people say and do and to the events that play out in your life. You can either give negativity power over your life or you can choose happiness instead. You can choose to be upset about what someone said or what someone did and you can let that manifest with within you and bother you and torture your mind and you can think about it all day and night or you can take a deep breath, you can meditate, you can pray, you can journal, write in a journal, you can talk to your friends if you have any, or you go to your support system and you let it out your system. Or you can have a conversation with yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, it's not worth being stressed out about. It's not worth losing sleep over. It's not worth looking tired. Now, I would like to say I'm a pretty attractive female, in my opinion, but I do notice one thing, that even though I'm not busted or looking ugly, I don't feel nor look like myself, in my opinion. You know, and I'm not just talking about because I changed the hair color or the hair length or the last time you saw me, I had green hair and now it's a blonde color. No, I mean, I feel tired. Even when my day is not that long, I feel tired. I feel like I look tired. You know, I wouldn't say I have like bags or anything, but you know, my face has been breaking out lately and I've washed my faith, face faithfully with um, products that I really stand by, but for some reason it's just not working. Um, I've been breaking out lately. I'll just randomly start itching. You know why? Because stress. There's this power struggle with me and my thoughts and my thoughts and things that are bothering me are trying to take a hold of me and control me. And I can't let that happen. I have to let these things go. I have to let these events go. I have to let these people go. I have to let these thoughts go. What people do not going to change or shape me. What people say cannot make me who I am or break me they cannot change the person that i am and the woman that i'm becoming and growing into i am going to blossom and be a beautiful rose and no one can stop that and what we have to do folks is stop letting the actions of people and the events around us or that are happening in our lives shape how we move 
you still have to stay strong. You still have to stay focused on your goals. You still have to stay committed. You still have to stay humble. You still have to stay driven. You can't let it change your character. You can't come out of character and come out of pocket. You still have to be you. And in certain aspects, I'm just struggling with that right now. I'm, I'm still humble. I'm still respectful. I'm still me in a way, you know, I stay in my character when people come at me negatively or they try to do negative things to me. But the constant thinking about it is something I'm struggling with. Once something happens, you handle it head on right then and there. If you feel like it needs to be handled or if it's something that you can just brush off your shoulders and let go, you just brush it off your shoulders and let it go. Don't think about it all the time. Trust me. Take it from me. I'm doing this right now as we speak. Don't think about it all the time. Um, Pray about it. Pray about it. Pray to the sun. Pray to the grass. God, whatever you believe in, pray to that thing. If it's you believe in cats rule the world, pray to the cats. Pray to whoever you want to pray to. But pray about it and don't worry about it. Let it go. Let go, let go, let go. Drop it, just toss it, get rid of it. Brush it off, just shake it off of you. Get rid of it, okay? We're doing this together. I've made this video to let you know that this is happening to me right now. This is something I'm struggling with right now. So if you're watching this video and it's you, hi, nice to meet you. This is happening to me too, so you're not alone. If you're watching this and this is you, I'm here right now to tell you, this is me too, right now. We're not always going to be happy. We're not always going to have it figured out. It's not always going to be smooth sailing. We're going to go through things. Now, I contemplated not making this midweek motivation because I was wondering, how can I motivate someone this week when I don't even feel motivated myself? But some people look forward to these videos that I post. So how dare I take that away from them when they need that extra encouragement or they need that extra motivation during the week and I just take it away from them and I'm not there to give it to them, then they don't get what they need. And if I'm going to be in this and if I'm going to be committed to delivering these messages to you, then I need to do it all the time, whether I feel woo pumped up or not. I want to be real with you all and let you see me i don't want to pretend i don't want to just post what looks good because it doesn't always look good my grass is not always green and it's not always cut i have bad days too because i'm human i'm real i don't ever want to get lost into putting on a show for you all that's not how i want to gain your trust that's not how i want to gain your following i want to gain your trust and gain your following and your attention by being real with you and that's why I decided to make this video, to show you that I'm going through something right now, too. I'm not always happy. I don't always have it figured out. I'm not always ready to deliver the message and pumped up, you know? Right now, I'm struggling with the same exact message that I'm giving to you. But I feel like if I say it out loud and I'm telling it to you and it helps you, it can help me in return because I'm saying it out loud. So now I'm hearing it through my own ears, out my own mouth. So now I can try to take my own advice that I'm telling you to take. And I need to try it. And I'm going to try it because who wants to listen to somebody that won't practice what they preach? So we're going to do this together. I'm in this with you. What I want you to do for the rest of this week is let go of everything that's troubling you. If that's a relationship, just let it go. I'm not saying get divorced. I'm not saying in your four-year relationship. I'm not saying call off your engagement. None of that. I'm just saying let it go for a little while, just for this, the, the rest of the week, just for the rest of these couple days. Just let it go. If there's an event that recently occurred and you keep thinking about it, I want you to let it go. Now, if it's something traumatic, somebody died, I'm not telling you to get over it. I'm just telling you for the next couple of days, all the things that are stressing you out, all the things that are troubling you, all the things that are making you cry, making you angry, making you not feel like yourself, I want you to let it go and don't think about it. Don't engage in the that negativity. Don't engage in those thoughts just for a few days. 
until you can recollect yourself and figure out how to move forward from those things that are holding you back, from those things that are trying to drown you, from those things that have power over you. I just want you to take a step back for a little while to figure out how you're going to regain power over your life. That's what I want you to do from here until Friday. So by the time Monday comes, you have a plan of how you're going to take control back over your life and how you're going to take power back over your life. You don't got to end friendships, relationships, marriages, engagements. You don't have to call off proposals, nothing. If there's something in your life that's pertaining to a person or a certain situation that's bothering you right now, I just want you to take a deep breath, take a step back and focus on something different until you can figure out how you're not going to let those things that are affecting you right now have complete power over you. Yes, sometimes certain things are going to bother you. You're going to think about them for a little while, but you can't think about them every day. You can't think about them all day. You can't think about them for weeks. You can't be concerned about it for months. You can't be tied up in it for years. You have to figure out how you're going to gain back control over your life. And I just want you to think about that. I want you to make an action plan. And when you figure out your plan, you don't even have to tell me if you don't want to. I just want you to figure out your plan and write it down. Put it in your diary. Write little steps that you're going to take to regain control back over your life. And do those things one by one. And you will see that the things that are bothering you will dissipate. And they will slowly start to not mean anything at all. You won't stress out. You won't lose sleep. You won't look tired. You won't get a cold. You won't feel itchy. You won't have headaches. Because they won't matter. All this stuff is going to melt off for you like excess weight that you don't need. And you're going to be okay. And I'm going to be okay. This video is just as much for me as it is for you. We're in this together and we're going to do this together. We are going to let, we're going to stop. I'm sorry. We're going to stop letting people and situations have control and power over our lives. Let's do this together, folks. I wish you the best for the rest of this week. We've gotten two days down and for this week, it's been, I won't even say rocky because the whole week wasn't rocky, but there's been moments in this week that just weren't the greatest, but we've gotten through it and we've gotten through those two days that may not have been the greatest. And we only have two more to go. And trust me, if you just um, shut out everything that's bothering you and just put it to the side for these next two days, when Monday comes, we not just you, because I'm in this with y'all too. We are going to feel great on Monday. We are going to feel brand new. And on Monday, we are going to rise up, snatch our power back, and keep marching forward with our lives. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you needed this video, please thumbs up this video. If you know of someone that needs this video, please like thumbs up, share, repost, tell a friend to tell a friend because I'm here to motivate y'all. I'm here to encourage y'all and I'm here to go through life with you all. So let's continue on our journey to being a better version of ourselves and being happy. I hope you enjoyed this midweek motivation and I'll see you all next time. Bye.